the situation between OTF and 4K Trey is being handled. Do you think that NBA Youngboy will continue to lay low on the topic? Let us know what you believe in the comment section below. Following Lil Durk's absence on social media, fans suspected that he was doing so to avoid incriminating himself. The Chicago rapper actually had been the alleged reason behind why Quando Rondo's shows have been getting canceled. Other OTF members have been very vocal on the situation and have even been active in getting back at the 4K Trey artist. NBA Youngboy, on the other hand, did not take that love lightly and quickly jumped to Quando Rondo's defense. The Savannah, Georgia rapper got himself into more heat with the Chicago crew after entertaining the situation and boasting about it online. Quando received so many negative remarks and threats that he eventually deactivated his Instagram account. The way that NBA Youngboy got back at OTF at first was by putting them on blast during his first concert since the nationwide lockdown. The Orlando show went on for four hours as Youngboy was performing on stage with his entire crew. Towards the end, a clip went viral of the rapper performing Quando Rondo's diss track, End of Story. The diss track is aimed at King Von for putting his hands on him and also at the fans for criticism. The clip shows the Baton Rouge rapper on stage with his camp singing along the lyrics. This came weeks after his brother, NBA Big B, was shot and injured and his friend, who was with him, was also shot but didn't actually make it. NBA Big B was also on Instagram Live after news broke out over King Von's death, laughing at the situation. Before the shooting, there was a beef between NBA Youngboy and King Von that was apparently over Asian Doll. Lil Durk was also on the receiving end of some viral news tweets on Twitter, claiming that he was murdered. This stems from the recent updates on the situation. NBA Youngboy has been quiet on the situation, trying not to let things get too out of hand. Lil Durk's goons actually took a trip down south to shoot a music video, but there was clearly some intent to milk the situation even more. 600 Breezy was really close with King Von, even as a youth, so it was no surprise that he would handle the situation with some emotion. Breezy, alongside Memo 600, took a trip to Quando Rondo's hometown to shoot a music video, but they clearly were there to intimidate and troll the Savannah, Georgia rapper. Memo 600 was really ruthless, going on IG Live mocking the rapper. He also posted two Instagram pictures. One of them was him on top of the city's welcome sign. The Chicago rapper was clearly on a mission to add on to Quando Rondo's recent weeks of torment. His next post on the gram is of himself in a local Savannah gas station holding a mug with the city's name on it. However, the two took a whole different approach to the situation compared to Lil Durk. Durkio, instead of posting about his anger and vengeance, deactivated his Instagram page so that if anything were to happen to Quando Rondo, he wouldn't be self-incriminating. 600 Breezy and Memo 600 were very vocal about their trip to Georgia as they wanted to entice the rapper even more. Memo defended their actions and had something to say on top of that. A fun fact, if I was looking for the singing goofy, y'all would never even know I was there. Let's get that out first. I came to shoot a video in his city and make y'all skin boil and look at what I did. Breezy would chime in by screenshotting the post writing, OTF and I just came cause Memo said it was some out there. The two decided to justify their decision. This came after Quando Rondo reportedly made a trip to Chicago posting to his Instagram a video of himself holding a weapon. However, many called Cap very quickly. NBA Youngboy is no stranger to beef. The rapper has had many run-ins with plenty of different rappers in the past, but the Chicago crew is not an easy one to pick on. Lil Durk was laying low on social media in hopes that he would go under the radar if anything were to happen to Quando Rondo. However, NBA Youngboy had other ideas on how to get at the Chicago rapper. As of right now, NBA Youngboy is not happy with how the situation between OTF and 4K Trey is being handled. Do you think that NBA Youngboy will continue to lay low on the topic? Thanks for tuning in today at Lime Report, where we covered NBA Youngboy's goons pulled up on Lil Durk in public. Before we end off this video, comment keyword baby for a chance to win our giveaway, and be sure to subscribe for more videos.